that's my uh, first match. Ever. Controller. Okay, man. It's been kind of cool. I, uh, it's interesting. Like, the things I thought would be problems were not problems. And the thing that I thought would be free, like, I never imagined that I'd, like, need to stretch my hand so far to press these two buttons at the same time. So many maps require that, and it's so weird, like, stretching my, uh, finger all the way. I'm not sure if there's like an easier way if I should be like using my thumb. It's interesting. It's like a new puzzle to figure out. Um, it definitely mixes up the whole game for me. One thing I thought would be a big issue is uh, I was expecting like not being able to rotate while like pressing buttons but I can still you can still kind of like rotate while hitting these two. Um, which is like the main thing I was doing to prepare for having a controller, like not being able to like rotate this while pressing buttons, but you totally can, and it's not even that hard. <laughs> and uh, oh my god, like, it's playing 7 key, but with like my pinky and pointer finger is very <laughs> strange. <laughs> Before it was kind of like a different version of 7 key, but now it's like... So the map I was originally going to play for this video ended up being a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, it turns out it's like a completely different game. Like thought things I thought were easy back then are like kind of hard now. Especially the three wides. Oh my god, this requires my whole palm. <laughs> That's the hardest part for me. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool like playing levels that I used to enjoy and kind of seeing a new side to them, or like new movements that was meant to do, or new little things to figure out. It's cool. Okay. Oh god. Alright. Um... Sure. We can do this one. This one's fun. This is not the 19. I was practicing to beat the 19 on a big controller. That's what I was doing most of the, like, three hours I've had this thing for. <laughs> I was not paying attention. And I, I can beat it on 95% speed, so expect that soon. I think that'd be a pretty cool video. I keep messing up my lefts and rights. I'm so much more focused on like my hand movements that I'm messing up like stuff that I already know how to do very clearly. That's interesting. It's not something I thought I'd have to relearn for this game. That sucks. <laughs> or like pressing the two uh, thumb buttons at the same time with one hand. It's really tricky. I'm still learning a lot about this, so I'm probably hitting stuff wrong.
close enough to a pass. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. We win these. One thing I forgot to mention is that I got a little webcam set up here. It, I think it's mirrored, and I think there's a slight delay. <laughs> but it's, like, better than recording on my phone. Um... Oh, and inlines are so free, because you can, like, easily... There's enough space on them to, ha like, easily press these two back and forth and, like, rid them. Also, like, the hand movements are a lot more exaggerated, so that makes, like... Most accuracy fails are because of, like, bad hand positioning. Which kind of makes a lot more sense why the community would be so act-focused, I think. Um, oh, that's still a fucking mystery to me. <laughs> because the minicon doesn't feel that different. It's the same movements, it's the same kind of game. It's just, maybe you don't have to move your hand as much. And it doesn't hurt as much to hit, like, three notes at the same time. <laughs> I'm like playing fucking what's that twister with my hands. <laughs> um, game is so much more fun. I do enjoy it a lot more. It's all the parts that I love about SDVX like turned up to like ten. <laughs> it makes the maps feel a lot more and have interesting, like different rhythms, which is cool. I love it. I do think I'd. Well, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I am excited to see where I go from here.